Today's lesson is lesson 6.2 and you can go to page 236 to review this lesson if you need additional information. The learning goal is I can estimate percents using a fraction to estimate. Let's begin. So it's really important to understand some really essential uh, baseline fractions before you start. 10% uh, is equivalent to 1 over 10, 20% is equivalent to 1 over 5, 25% is equivalent to 1 fourth, 33 and a third is equivalent to 1 third, and 50% is equivalent to 1 half. Some other important equivalent fractions are basically um, anything that ends in a zero, for example, uh, 30%, 30%. Um, can be written as 30 over 100 or actually 3 over 10. So 4, 40% can be written as 4 over 10 and so on and so forth. So we use a lot of these fractions today um, in our lesson. I'll, refer I'll be referencing this sheet too. So let's use a fraction to estimate. Estimating means an approximate amount. So it's not necessarily exact, but it's a great way to check your answer. And also, let's say that you went out shopping and you had, um, you had to purchase something that was $80 or $79. 79 dirhams, let's say. And it was marked at 48% off. This would be a great idea to estimate how much of a discount you'd have. Approximate. So let's start. We have 48% of 50. Well, 48% is about 50%. And 79 is about 80. Now because we're using fractions to estimate, we're going to convert this 50% into a fraction. Now 50% is actually equivalent in a lot of ways to 0 0.50 and 0 0.50 as a fraction is a half. Now I picked 80 because it was a compatible number meaning it's really easy um, to go work with a number that ends in a zero like this. So now I'm going to multiply 1 half times 80. I could write it over 1 if I'd like. So 1 times 80 is 80 and 2 times 1 is 2. 80 divided by 2 is 40. So 48% of 79 is about 40. And that makes sense because 50% of 80 is 40. So it's going to be pretty close. So we can estimate that it's 40. Let's do another one. 30% of 86. If I look back at my sheet here, I can see that 30% is pretty close to 33 and a third. So because I'm using fractions here, I'll do one third. And then 86, a compatible number with one third, would be 90. And that means multiplying. So 90 times 1 is 90, and 3 times 1 is 3. 90 divided by 3 is 30. So 30% 30 of 86 is 30. Let's continue with number 3. 52% of 83. Okay, so 52%, got my little cheat sheet here. Okay, so that's about one half or 50%. So I'm going to convert that into a fraction and get one half. Let's see. Okay, so a compatible number would be 80. 80. And I'm going to times it. So 8 times 80 
or 1 times 80 is, is 80, and then 2 times 1 is 2, and I could simplify that to 40. So when we estimate, we can say that 52% of 83 is 40. Now, if you were, is about 40. Uh, now, if you were to find the actual amount, um, it would be about, it would be 43.16, the actual amount. Okay, so it's pretty close. Again, if you were um, at a convenience store or you're shopping for furniture and it said, this is listed at 83 durhams, uh, and it's 52% off. You can do a quick estimate in your head to figure out how close it is. And you can say to yourself, it's about 40. Use a percentage or t use, use 1% or 10 to estimate the percent of each number. So basically when we're doing these, uh, if the number is like less than 10, generally we use 1, okay? So we have 5%. Now remember, first thing we want to do is we want to convert this into a decimal, okay? So since we're taking a percentage and converting it to a decimal, we have to move our decimal two places to the left. So thinking back to our last lesson, percent to a decimal, two places to the left. So we end up with 0.82. 0.82, okay? Now, since we want to find out 5%, uh, we want to times it by 5. Now, you certainly could do 5 times 0.82, uh, but we're estimating, and we want to make it easy numbers, so we're going to do 5 times 0 0.80. So 5 times 8 is 40. is 40. Uh, okay. And then we just add a decimal right there. So 5% of 82 is about 4. 5% of 82. 5% of 80 is about 4. And if you wanted to check, just to be certain here, it ends up being about 4.1, so it's pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, the key thing to remember here is when we're estimating with percentages is just to always make it as easy as possible. So if you you can say that you had 5% off of of 82, and you would just think in your head, okay, 80 durhams, uh, five. Okay, so that would be uh, four. Five times eight is 40 at a decimal. So let's take 40% uh, and first of all I'm going to think about um, finding, utilizing 10% to estimate this. So first of all I'm going to do 10% and then I'm going to round up to 20. So I have 20% of 10. Okay, so now whenever I have 10% of any number, doesn't matter what it is, I'm going to move it two places, move it one place to the left. So I get two. Okay? But remember though that we're not finding 10% of a number, we're finding 39%. So we're going to do 10% uh, four times, and it's about four. So 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, we can say that 39% of 19 is about 8. Which ends up being 7.47. So like I said, about 8. So reviewing these steps again, um, the percentage is bigger than 10, so we're going to say, okay, we're going to estimate by 10. 10, and then we have 19, so we're going to turn that into 20. 10% 10 times 20, we end up with 2. Then, because we weren't trying to find 10% of 20, we we're trying to find 39% of 19, we do that 4 times and get 4 
4 times 2 is 8. Let's go ahead and start off by converting these to manageable numbers. 21% of 68, so I'm going to estimate that to 20%. And then I'm going to estimate this to 70. Because our estimation, we want to choose between 1 and 10, um, the number is bigger than 10, so we're going to use 10. 10% 10 of 70. Whenever you're trying to find a percent of a number that's 10% 10, uh, 10 of a number, just move the decimal over one spot. So now we have 7. Because we're trying to find 21%, not 10% of a number, we have to times it by 2. Because we go from 10 to 20, times it by 2. So 2 times 7 is 14. So in conclusion, we can say that 21% of 68 is about 14. And if you check it, you can see that it's pretty close to 14. Today we estimated percents. The learning goal again was I can estimate percents. We estimated percents by using fractions as well as decimals. Thank you.